Okay, hello. I don't know how the angle is, I don't know how the lighting is, or anything. I am back to my old setup, as you can see if you have been with me for a while. I'm sitting in front of the window, you are seeing our bed, and I'm going to do a get ready with me today. Because I'm testing out a new foundation, and I don't know... A foundation review isn't my thing, and not my first impression thing either and I didn't want to make only a video with a foundation but I still want to try it on camera and it's better to do it with natural lighting instead of um, the studio lights uh, and I don't know how the how the settings are on the camera because I haven't filmed in natural lighting in such a long time and my hair so for this, get ready with me, I'm going to test out this. This is the Isadora Active All Day Wear Makeup 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm also going to do my eyes. And this is not going to be a colorful makeup, so this is not going to be like my normal get ready with me, maybe when I do like a fun makeup. Because... I am going to a wedding on Saturday and when I'm filming this it's Sunday so in six days I am going to a wedding one of my friends are getting married and I want to try out a new foundation for this because my foundation is soon empty but I want to try this before the wedding and also I don't want a super colorful makeup to the wedding and you maybe wonder why Am I lying to you about how I do my makeup? Uh, no. I usually like to have more colors, but... I am a person that hate being center of attention, and... Uh, I don't know a lot of people in this wedding. I don't even know if I'm going to... Of course, our friends that are getting married, we know them. And I have met some of the guests before, but only on like... I have never spent time with other guests. So I do not want to stick out of the crowd. I really hope you get what I mean. And I'm going to use the soft glam from ABH and I'm not going to talk about my makeup at all I'm just going to do my makeup and talk about other stuff so I just want to see what I'm going to do and are you like me? do you hate to be the center of attention or do you like it? I really really hate it I have hated it as long as I can remember I guess when I was a kid, no kids. Most of the kids like to be the center of attention, and I guess I was a normal kid like that, but getting older, I have never liked to be the center of attention. And this wedding gives me. I am an introvert and uh, I want to go to this wedding because it's my friend that's getting married and I want to be there for her but like all the, the whole, whole parting thing it doesn't <laughs> it's not something I like to be around a lot of people and also, I don't know if I have talked about this, I do not drink alcohol at all because <laughs> I don't like the taste of it and I I don't feel well when I drink alcohol. So I do not drink, never. And that seems to make people uncomfortable. <sighs> so yeah, I don't like to be around places where you are supposed to drink alcohol because I don't and 
it seems to fend some people. I don't really know why. So I'm a little bit torn about this wedding. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. I hope we are staying at a hotel. So that's going to be fun. But also I got such a problem. <laughs> if you have seen my style tag. Um, I said that I like have... I always wear black and in Sweden you are not allowed allowed you should not wear black at wedding because you wear black at funerals and not at weddings if you aren't somebody is wearing a costume of course costume a jacket and pants costume no um <laughs> and in Sweden, when you're getting married, you can have dress codes for the wedding. And they have a dress code for the wedding. And uh, I have no idea what to wear. I think I maybe know. I have tried so many dresses, but nothing fits my body. That's not black. The dress code they have picked is like dark. Not called costume. I need to write it here. And for women, you should have a fancy dress, but it should not be too fancy. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. And it shouldn't be too short, but not too long either. Okay, so fancy dress, but not too fancy, and not too long and not too short. And I'm also cutting my hair tomorrow. And I really hope that um, it will be a good haircut. But my hairdresser, I don't go to the hairdresser that often, but when I do, I always go to the same. Because she knows what I like and she is so good. So I go to her and she does not know that I don't have my side cut anymore so that's going to be interesting and see what she says about that she was the one that cut my side cut I wasn't sure at the beginning then she was like do you want this and I said yes I think so and then she just took my hair and cut it off and like now you can't regret it because I have cut it off and I was like good and then I had my side cut for six years I think so it was good I don't know what kind of jewelry I'm going to have at the wedding. I think maybe gold. And for this dress shopping, I have like I do not like my body at all. I have been I have gained some weight over the last two years and that's I haven't been feeling well both mentally and physically um, these last two years and that has resulted that I am gaining weight because I used to train a lot before but I haven't but now I start to feel mentally good um, and also physically but I'm not happy with my body if you understand so I want to start to train again but I don't want to mess up my head maybe not such a good explanation but I hope you get what I mean so I am not happy with my body and then to find a dress for the wedding that is not going to be black and black is like the only color I feel comfortable in it stresses me with this wedding so freaking much but I am I'm okay I really like this palette I think I bought it about a year ago and I think this 
I like this so much more than the modern renaissance. This has the same formula as the modern renaissance and this is amazing. I love this palette. Okay, so I think I may be done with my eyelids. And I'm so sorry for you that come for my like colorful and more fun makeup looks and come to this and like who the hell is she? It's me. I just look a little bit and different today. Um, I don't know what more to talk about. I have talked about this before that I have a little bit of trouble with my sleep. And then I start taking walks and it... It was better for a while but now I don't take walks anymore. Because I just... I just come home from work and I'm so freaking... I got like no energy and I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to start with my primer that I got so much left. I'm going to take my primer. And I think that this foundation I'm just going to take my little... What is this called in English? In Swedish? If you translate it from Swedish to English, it's sun feather, but I don't think it's called a sun feather in English, no. So okay, this foundation, so this is the active all day wear makeup, and why I don't want to use my serum foundation is because that fades a little bit during the day, and that it's going to be a long day on Saturday, and this is 24 hour. Uh, sweat proof, humidity proof and if I'm, I know myself, which I do I am going to be stressed and I am probably going to sweat so I think this is too dark but I don't know, but usually they always are too dark so I'm going to take some on my hand I don't know how much you should take it looks like this. I think this is too dark. I'm going to test it here on my neck. <laughs> and hell yeah, it's too dark. So I'm going to take in some costume drops from H&M. And I take a sponge because I always use a sponge. I have never been a brush kind of girl when it comes to my foundations. It still feels too dark. It's so freaking yellow. And it's still too dark. I don't know if you can see it, but it's... It's so freaking dark. <sighs> and I had like two drops. Okay, I think we have to start over because this is... No, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but in real life it looks like I have taken some tan. And this is the lightest shade. And I know I am like pale as a ghost, but come on. And this still feels too dark. How am I supposed? I don't even know if it's maybe the wrong undertone. I have a natural undertone, so usually most of the foundations work on me. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I mixed like half and half of the foundation and the whitening drops and it is still too dark. I 
I don't know if you can see the difference between my face and my neck. I just... Oh, I was so looking forward to use this foundation. And now it's like... I don't know if you can see it in my forehead, but it's just like too, too dark and so freaking yellow. Maybe you can see if you compare my ear. I don't know. I maybe if I change this. Do you see the difference? <sighs> Despite the color, the foundations feel good. It doesn't... Oh, maybe you should... Maybe you want to see something again. The foundation feel good on my face. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel like a layer. is so really dark. I'm going to have a dress that is like this and I can't I can't go out like this. Too bad because this felt good on my skin. But I can't, like, take more white than foundation. It doesn't... I can't do it like that. So this foundation isn't for me. So I'm going to watch, wash this foundation off and then... I guess I will go with my serum foundation. And I guess I will give this foundation to a friend, because I can't wear it. So, <laughs> I'm going to wash off my face and then I will come back. So, okay, I am back with the bare face. And I'm going to test out this instead. This is the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. But this is matte, and I really don't like super matte. But we will try, and this is lighter than the other one. So I will do a little color test on this as well. And this is full coverage. Matte high coverage. And as you know, I don't like. And it feels like this is actually going to work. So we will see how I like this one, because uh, matte foundations and high coverage foundation isn't my favorite and it's not my favorite to have freaking hair in my foundation. Okay, it feels like I have to work super fast with this. And this get tea tree. Uh, and purifying tea tree and I don't know how my skin is going to react with that but it's suitable for sensitive skin I don't have sensitive skin I just have dry skin okay so this color did suit me but I don't it smells of the tea tree but it goes away. And it was so... It was a really thick foundation. So it feels like it's almost dry into your skin. And I have to work so freaking fast, it feels like. 
Yeah, but the color was good, but I... Oh, it's like completely dry down. Ready? How? The hell? Okay, so this foundation was better, but... It still smell of the tea tree and I... I don't know what I think about that. I don't know, this feels good, but it still feels like I can smell the tea tree. And I don't like this all matte. It feels like it's laying on top of my face. If you get what I mean by that. Probably you do. And it likes... I have a lot of peach fuzz in my face and it like enhance all of the peach fuzz. Like all of the peach fuzz. Like all all. So this wasn't a hit either. So I'm going to take this away as well. I wonder if my face is like what the fuck are you doing? So okay, I'm going in with the fur foundation, and this is this is soon empty the foundation I use, and I want to see. I don't think this will survive <laughs> until Saturday, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so I'm taking an OG. This is the Lumina Blur foundation. I love this. This is also too dark, but this I know I can mix. And this is a blur foundation. And I love this. Now it was a pretty long time since I last used it, but I really like um, this foundation because it is a pretty light coverage, but it's just it just look so good on the skin and it lays perfectly on the skin so I think I will go with this on Saturday and I haven't used powder on my face for so long like my whole face because this um, the serum foundation I usually use it dries down so you don't need to use any powder to set it so yeah and what I can can remember about this foundation it doesn't sit and it feels like I want to set my foundation if I'm going to have it on the whole day But I like the coverage of this foundation because it's not that much. So I am going to do some contouring. And I am on the I think I want to take ooh, this one from the NYX palette. Thinking about using this, I usually use this for my contour. But I think I want to use this for my blush. I'm not sure yet. I think I will take this one. And this is Kendra. And now we will see. Because I know a lot of people use this as a blush brush. But also as a contour brush. I don't know if I like it. Not with this blush at least. Doesn't feel like it's picking up. And if you have been here for a while, you know that these blushes from Nabla isn't the most pigmented. But I, I really like that because I am a little bit afraid of this like highly pigmented blushes because it feels like if you win with them and you get too much 
and then you're screwed. <laughs> and for my highlight, I'm going to use this baby glock by now. And I'm just waiting to hit the pen on this. Have you been going to many weddings? This is my fourth wedding I'm going to. And I have the first wedding I was. It was my older cousin. She got married like maybe 17 years ago or something like that. Maybe 16. So I was pretty young then. And the other two weddings that I've been to. Um, one of my best friends and then I was a bridesmaid. And then it was super easy with the clothes because I needed to be a bridesmaid dress. And then my boyfriend's sister got married. It has to be last year. And they didn't have any dress code. So that was easy. And now it is my friend that's getting married. So, yeah. This was like now I'm in that age when a lot of people are getting married because the most of my friends are at the same age as me. Yesterday I had like a mental breakdown. I said to my boyfriend I didn't want to go to this wedding. That I didn't want to do anything. You get that sometimes, you're like, I get so angry and so mad and I don't really know why, but it's just boiling inside of me and I don't know what to do. Okay, so for the under eyes for this look, I will keep it cohesive with the lids. Would you invite me to a wedding if I looked like this, or would you like be like? Ooh. What is she doing here? And I think the dress I am going to use is dark blue, so this makeup look is going to work with a dark blue dress. I hope. Okay, and for my lips, and this was like the one thing I was so first thought of this, that was that I want to wear something red. Um, but I don't know which one. One of these two. Yeah, but that was all for this Get Red With Me. I am sorry about this video. This was a messy video, and... If you made it to the end, congratulations, I should give you something. So this, I think I will go something like this to the wedding. And maybe another lip. I don't know. Or maybe another eye look. I don't know. But maybe this eye look and maybe another lip. And now the sun is back. So I like. I hope you like this, get ready with me. And if you would invite me to your wedding if I would look like this would you would you not I don't know so I really hope you like this super messy low energy video I'm sorry but yeah it was a long time ago I did a get rid of me so I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye